Hello. Welcome. Our project is the embedded watch. Embedded Watchman is a security system. The main components in our embedded watchman are your basic JPEG camera, smart vision, panda board, IR sensor, and HDMI display. IR sensor will detect the motion. Once the motion is detected, it sends a signal to the smart vision. Smart vision will be continuously pulling for a signal from sensor. Once it receives the signal, it will command the camera to take the picture and the image will be transferred to the smart vision. The received data will be sent to the panda board where shape detection algorithms will be run. If a circle is present in the image, access will be granted, otherwise access will be denied. We use the infrared motion sensor uh, which detects up to uh, up 15 feet. The main purpose of the sensor was to detect any motion in the room and uh, send an activating signal to the smart fusion where the smart vision is continuously polling for this activating signal. Once smart vision receives the signal, it sends a set of commands such as change picture, reset, take picture, read file size, read file content, and stop taking picture to the camera and make sure that it receives a proper response from the camera. We do not need any special introduction to smart vision. The camera we use is the Linksprite Y201 based JPEG based camera. The camera has transmission pin, receive pin, 5 volt power supply and a ground pin. The 5 volt power supply is provided from Smart Fusion record board. The pins F4 and F6 in the Smart Fusion board are configured as the receiver pin and transmission pin respectively with the help of IO attributed data. We generally face many challenges while doing the projects and the main challenges while interfacing the camera with the Smart Fusion were writing wrapper for the UART drivers and setting the baud rate of 38,400 which is calculated using the baud value. Your driver requires the baud value as input for internally calculating the baud rate which implicitly depends on the clock frequency of the smart vision. We overcame this problem with the help of the Sally logic analyzer. Another issue was storing the image in the smart vision. As we were running out of space, we increased the stack size in the linker script to deal with this. The camera will respond according to the smart vision commands. Once the smart vision receives the one frame of data from the camera, smart vision transfers the data to the panda board. Here the communication interface between the Smart Fusion and the Panda board used is the UART communication and the baud rate used is 38400. Panda board has four UART connectors. Among them we use J3 expansion connector. Initially we verified this connector using the main comp. Pin 6 and 8 of the J3 expansion connector are configured as a TX and RX pins with respect to the Panda board. The GPIO pins present in the Smart Fusion are also configured as a TX and the RX pins. Normally we face two challenges with respect to the Panda board. One was the installation of the operating system by making the SD card bootable. And the second was the UART communication. Once the data was transferred, we did not receive all of the data. We were, we were missing out with some data and also the received data was found to be erroneous. We solved this problem by sending a parity bit along with the data bits and the stop bit. The next part was uh, installing the OpenCV libraries in the Panda board. Some of the applications of the OpenCV libraries are object identification, segmentation and recognition, motion tracking. We use the object identification in our project. First we tried to implement the face recognition algorithm. Uh, because of the complexity, we settled down to the shape based detection. Uh, whenever we detect a circle in a captured image, access will be granted, else it will be denied. This is our entire board setup. If you look at the components individually, this is our yacht camera, this is our IR sensor, this is our smart vision and that is our panda board and with the help of this HDMI monitor we can get to our big giant screen. So if you want to look at the connections, first from the IR sensor, this is the TA, this is the output and this is going to the smart vision and we are giving 5 volt power supply to the smart vision. Then here are the connections between the UART camera and the smart vision. Then he, and this is the connection which is between the panda board and the smart vision. Basically which is used for the UART transmission. That is. This is our capture image as it doesn't have any circuit shape in that one. It doesn't detect and it is giving access denied. I should be able. In this demo, and in this image, consists of an object which, which with mm. circle shape, 
That's why it's denoted that object and that getting x branded. That's it.